Hello, girlfriends and boyfriends. It's Vicky, and I have a layout share, and Wanda's back. Before I get to the layout share, I want to tell you guys about uh, just a great friend here, a YouTube friend, and her name is Jess. And why I want to tell you about her, besides her just putting out some good layouts, she has started a blog. And the name of it is so darn cute. It's called Crafty Scrappy Mamas. And if I know Jess, this blog is going to be fun. It's going to be a good time. She's like us. She's a mom. She's a working gal. She's fun. Uh, she takes a lighthearted, energetic approach to things. And I've just gotten to know her a little bit more every day, every week here on YouTube. And I just really like her. So if you can go over and give that blog a look-see and check out our channel if you don't already subscribe to her. Uh, I don't think we're going to be disappointed. Now, let me tell you, I'm just not a blog person. I'm old school, and if I read, I kind of like for it to be a book or a newspaper. I just can't get used to the whole Kindle reading blog thing. But, I am going to check in on Jess's blog. Why, you say? Because I think it's going to be that good. And I want to support her. So, head on over there to her blog. Head on over to her channel. What I told her, I said, Jess, if you don't mind, I'm going to give you and your blog a little shout out. Not that I have a million subscribers. I don't. But, I'll tell you what I do have. I have some great subbies. And I didn't even realize this, but I've had a few people who have said, Oh, Vicki, thank you for the shout-out on my YouTube channel. Because after you did that, I got a bunch of new subbies. And I'm like, listen, I am definitely not... Shamel Lane or Nicole McGorick. But what I can tell you is I know the people who sub to me and I've got to meet on my channel, we love our layouts, don't we? I got some good subbies. So anyway, give her a look see and let's get started on this layout share. Hi, Jess. 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 Hi. Okay. So anyway, the background is Avalanche by Basil. This is tissue paper from the many purchases I've made in the past month or so. And there's the good thing. When you buy something from some of the Etsy shops, you don't just get product, you get free tissue paper. Oh, that also came from AllScrapbookSteals. Dot com. And I'm going to tell you something. I just placed my second order with them and I got my order shipped to me. And within six days, it was in my crafty little fingers. That's very good. Thumbs up for all scrapbooksteals.com. I said last time that we were talking, I was iffy with them. But hey, between their prices being lower and if they have fairly quick shipping, I'm your girl. Count on me to pay your electric bill, okay? Because I've made a decision. I'm not going to quit shopping. Not at, not anytime soon, okay? So, <laughs> I had said a few videos ago I was going to slow down on the shopping or quit. And I don't know who said that because it was not me because I'm shopping. And I, I'll do a haul video to share my items from uh, all scrapbook steals, but I had pretty quick delivery this last time. I got my order, I think, on, what's today, Thursday? I got my order Monday, and I put it in, like, last Monday or Tuesday, so to me, that's good. Okay, 
basil avalanche uh, sequins courtesy of Studio Calico. Now, I say courtesy. That sounds like they gave them to me. They did not give me those sequins. I had to buy them. Sequins all over. And I just scattered them all over like they fell on this page. This little thing I picked up, like this uh, clothespin, I picked up at Michael's or Joanne. I forget which. This is my Martha Stewart tag punch. See those little smiley faces? That's from my Studio Calico stamp set. No, I lied. It is Technique Tuesday stamp set. It's the one with all the little smiley faces. This washi tape that is not sticking is from Michaels. It's that new line they have out. Like, they got the washi tape and the bottle caps and the twine and all that that matches my washi tape is not sticking, which I can deal with it. I just have to glue it down. Uh, let's see, what else? This little die cut here is from DIY Shop Ephemera. Keep calm and shoot something. Now, I'm going to tell you, I, I, I don't like that phrase. I put this on and took it off. Took it, put it on and took it off. But... The boys are playing some kind of shoot the bird game or shoot each other and what are you going to do? You know, I wish that only military and policemen had guns and nobody else could ever, ever, ever get them. But that's not the way it's going to be. Guns scare me, but I'm, I'm very tossed on gun laws. I, I wish that little boys could grow up without playing guns. But I'm going to tell you something. I had a friend. She would not buy her boys guns. And they would pick up sticks and shoot with them like they were guns. That's what they do. So even though I am not okay with the phrase, keep calm and shoot something, that's what they're doing. And that's what they will do. And... You know, so there you have it. I'm still not okay with this. I'm looking at it and I'm like, I just don't know. It, but it does come from a Studio Calico uh, stamp kit. This is from that stamp set with them. And it's Technique Tuesday, the little smile faces. See the little paper dolls down here? That's an MFT die. And it's the boys only. And I got that at Simon Says Stamp. And that's where you can get yours too. If you want one. I have, I layered like yellow cardstock under here. And this is from the Shoreline Collection by American Crafts. I actually just bought that paper in one of my last hauls. For the other side, which is this big yellow sun, and I thought I would have that paper so I could do summertime layouts because it's just great for summertime layouts, but that blue just matched the blanket so much I had to cut into it. I splattered some SEI tumble dye green paint up here in the corner and over there in the corner, and I will zoom in. These little letters, I love them. It is the Lawn Fawn Narrators Collection. And I picked mine up at Paper Issues on Etsy. I used my EK Success 1.5 inch circle punch to punch their pictures out. This is from Michaels. It's part of that set with the washi tape. This L... I put up there because of Logan, and that's from DIY Shop Ephemera. This is another one of those little sets that I picked up at Michael's. More washi tape. Look at that. It's just totally coming up. More sequins. More paint. EK Success Notebook Border Punch. All of these little die cuts are from DIY Shop by Crate Paper. 
and you'll see I kind of just cut through some of the tissue paper here to make it look like a notebook edge. And I guess that's everything. Oh, I actually used blue staples to staple my tissue paper down. And then I just went on to kind of make it look like it was part of the decoration. And it's blue staples. It's like from one of those mini staplers things. And I got blue staples and I used them. So let me zoom in, I guess. Oh, let me tell you about the pictures and the title. Title says, I Nate, I Logan, I Pad, I Tired. Because this is over the holidays. The boys spent the night and a couple of times. Nate's here every weekend. His dad lives here. But Logan don't get to visit with us as much. So over uh, Christmas break, we were so lucky that Logan ended up spending about three to four nights with us. Uh, two and two. Like he stayed two nights and then came back and stayed another two nights. And both times Nate was here. There is nothing I love more than when these boys are together. In this particular picture, I have this blow-up bed that I got like at Sears. And I mean, it's tall. And we blow it up and they can sleep on it. And what happens when I do that, I sleep in the family room on the couch and they sleep on the blow-up bed and they just love that. But you know what? I would have loved that too when I was a kid. So, by this time of night, they had played all day long. And I'm telling you, they stay up till 12, 1 o'clock. So, it was very late. And they had Dad's iPod, or iPad, and was playing it. And I'm sitting over on the couch thinking, when are they going to pass out? They've got to be dead tired. So, that's why I need I Logan, iPad, I tired. Um... Yep, I guess that's it. That's just them in bed right next to me in the family room on the blow-up bed playing the iPad for hours. And they were shooting something because I could hear them going, Oh, wow, right in the head. Oh, good shot. You know, they're boys. What are you going to do? Believe me, I wish that they would have been having a tea party with me or dressing up their baby dolls, but they're not going to do that. So, let me zoom in. And you know what? I'm putting this in my Christmas album. I think I'm just going to kind of do my Christmas album like a uh, December daily this year. I'm not going to just put the Christmas get-together. I'm going to go on and put like when Dad and Nate went to the zoo to see the Christmas lights and I'm going to put things like this our Christmas slumber parties I don't do project life and let me tell you my project life would be so boring because we really don't do much when the grandkids aren't here so I thought I would just do the Christmas album like a December daily. And you can see I just took all different size of photographs and cut them down to make a collage of them playing iPad. I really like these narrators by Lawn Fawn. This is my second set. And don't you just love that die from MFT? See, you can see the size of the die in comparison to the sequence.
Okay. I have one more double page layout to share with you. So sit tight. And here's my second double page layout. Once again, I'm going to put this in my Christmas photo album. Maybe when I get that album complete, I will show you how it looks actually put together. I was just getting tired of trying to use Christmas ribbon and elf stickers and green and red for my layouts. But I really want to get that album complete or very close to being finished. So that's when I came up with this great idea of why not do some of the Christmas pictures on regular cardstock. I don't have to put green and red on everything in that album, right? So that's what I'm doing. This is a, another get together. I don't know if it was the same one as before, but it was over the winter Christmas holiday when both of the boys were with us. The title on this one is what happens at Mama's stays at Mama's. I don't care who it is. Logan's mom, Logan's dad, Logan's other grandma, which is my husband's ex-wife. They just don't know why Logan loves to stay here so much. Well, here's why. It's Disney in Ohio. I mean, we do nothing but pay attention to him when he's here. Even Nate. Sometimes Nate has a fit when he has to go back to his mom's house. Why wouldn't he? We wait on both of these boys, hand and foot. They've got every toy you can think of. We've got a big piece of land here. We, we have almost an acre. And it's filled with with fun stuff to do. Swimming pool, diving board, a playground set, toys you ride on, toys you dig with, a sandbox, a, a hose. And we're Grandma and Grandpa. Everything's good at Grandma and Grandpa's house. Now, do you see how I did the... Uh, whoa. Oh, darn it. Do you see how we? I did the doodling here, the words? Let me tell you what gave me that idea. This Chipotle bag. Do you guys have Chipotle? It's like a Mexican restaurant that has the best overstuffed burritos ever. And see how the writing is? I thought that was so, so cool. I decided to do it on my layout. I'm so glad I showed you guys this bag. Now I can finally throw it away. We're going to have bugs, roaches, for keeping this paper bag around so long. Anyway, that's where I got my idea. And uh, I hate when these are crooked. Everything I do, I mean everything, even my cooking, has to be just a little bit crooked. Okay, so the background is craft card stock. I think it is, I don't know what it is, but I hope I didn't use that Joanne craft card stock by mistake because I don't like it. Michaels, they don't make it anymore, but they used to have a great 12 by 12 craft card stock. And I thought that's what I picked up, but the way this is bending, I'm not sure that I got the right stuff because I'm not liking this. Anyway, the thickers is the flaky collection. This is sketchbook. Aren't you loving that? And I got that from Studio Calico, but other places have it now. I used two different pens to do my writing on here. One of them is American Craft Precision Pen, and I used all three of the different size fonts or tips. You know how like one is 0.05, one is 0.08. I used all three of them. 
I also used my Signo Uniball gel pen, which is black. I have a black one, a white one, a red one. You can pick those up at jenspens.com. And I use that because that's really thick. And I made the wavy lines with that. This stamp down here is Studio Calico, and it's the one that has question marks, uh, quotation marks, or what I lovingly refer to as commas. You'll notice when I zoom in, there's a house and a car stamped over here. And on this side, there is a chair and a table and a lamp. And I did a second generation stamping to to get that on my paper. And the reason I picked those stamps is I wanted it to look like a little old lady's house. You know, like Grandmama's house. And both of those sets came from Hero Arts. Uh, this down here is Studio Calico. And I think it's the Here and There set. Or Here and Now. It's the one that was just released. And the reason I use that is, once again, it's Momo's house. Okay? Does that make sense? I, I don't. It did in my head. Uh, let me read. Oh, see the stamp over there that says, hooray, yay, hooray, yay. I hate that. I don't hate the stamp set, and I think it is Technique Tuesday. It's the same one from the Smiley Faces stamp from the last layout. The reason I put that there is I had stamped down here and got black ink on my finger and then held my paper and I got black ink smudged up there. So I had to do it. Oh, I hate that when that happens. And I tried everything else, trying to cover it with paper and it just didn't look right. So I would have never have ever did that if it wasn't to cover a worse mistake. Now, my writing. I put things in here that we do or that are kind of special about Mama's house. And reading from left to right, it says Flying Santa, vitamins. I always make sure the vitamin or the boys take vitamins when they are here. In fact, because they don't eat right, I buy vitamins and send it home to their mothers. Uh, chocolate milk, we get the best chocolate milk in the world. It is so thick and chocolate. It's almost too chocolate. And the boys love that chocolate milk. The next part says popcorn with pawpaw. They love to make real popcorn and go downstairs in pawpaw's man cave and play on the guitars and the karaoke machine and they watch movies and cartoons and play air hockey. So they love popcorn with pawpaw. They love big donuts. We have an old-fashioned bakery out here where we live and their donuts are really big and they are terribly good. Oh my gosh. They melt in your mouth. They have the best glazed donuts you'd ever, ever dream of. Now I'm hungry for donuts. We watch Phineas and Ferb. We play with Nerf guns. They've got every Nerf gun imaginable. They wear cozy pajamas. The play park. And that's what they used to call the swing set and fort and back. And I always thought, why do they call it the play park? But Dora, the explorer, calls the park the play park. So I put that in there. We swim, the blow-up bed. Uh, we stay up late. We play the Wii game. Uh, this says, Call Me Maybe. And since that song has been popular, the boys love it. I mean, you know, they're five and eight when that song comes out and frankly I like the song too so we all sing call me maybe and I play it over and over 
I jump around a little bit. Not much, because I can't. Okay, when you weigh a certain amount, you just can't jump anymore. And when you get a certain age, that cancels out what kind of jumping you could do. So, believe me, it's not really jumping around. But I dance a little bit. I think my uh, uh, old daughter-in-law said that I was, the dance I was doing is called dropping it like it's hot or something. Anyway, I shake my booty, and they think that's so funny. And I put my hands on my hips. <laughs> okay, is that a visual? They think it's funny, and we like the song, Call Me Maybe, and we sing it, and it's fun. We stay up late. Mama scraps. Uh, they have a picnic table. It's like a plastic little tykes. Uh, picnic table, and that's where I always let them eat their dinner or breakfast, most of the time. Uh, and now I just said the other day, that poor old picnic table, I need to get a picture of that, by the way. That picnic table, they're definitely growing out of it. And uh, they go to the pumpkin festival every year. We take them down to this place, and they have this huge pumpkin festival and they get to pick their pumpkin and play some games and we there's airplane rides now <laughs> they don't want to do the airplane ride which frankly I'm glad about but I'm sure as they get older they'll want to take an airplane ride at the pumpkin festival so that's just some of the fun things that they would associate with Mama's house Oh, I forgot to tell you what font this is. Uh, I think. What is that? I don't know, but I'll check and put it on the screen, okay? Because it's a cute font. I almost want to say it's iguana, but I don't think it is. I matted everything on a black card stock. Here's the boys giving each other a big old hug. They're best buddies. Here, they're sitting at the bar. Uh, the kitchen bar eating breakfast or a snack, I forget which. That's all they do when they're here. I try to feed them, feed them, and fatten them up. Uh, here, down here, they had the great idea to pull out all of the Nerf guns. And then Mama had the great idea to shoot Santa, to have a contest and see who could shoot the flying Santa. <laughs> You know, what are they going to hurt? If they break anything, it, it, chances are very slim that they will. Hopefully, they'll look back on this picture and laugh about it and remember it with the best feelings in 20 years. When our kids were smaller, and even when my, you know, I was a single mom for a while before I met my husband, you know, we I worried about stuff. And he worried, and we worried. Don't break this, don't do that. And you know what? It really means nothing. In the scheme of things, who cares about a knick-knack that doesn't have sentimental value to it? You know what I mean. So, I'm a little bit more lackadaisical now than when our kids were little. Now, let me zoom in. Every time that I look at this corner, I will hate it because of having to put that on there. But it could be worse. There's my guys. I really love that sketchbook font. And the way I happened upon that font is watching Rose Flowers videos and I'll leave her name here on the screen this is that flaky font and it is the same set but look how the H and the A are skinny and the P's are chunky that's how the whole set is and you'll see I matted everything on black cardstock to make it stick out I really enjoyed doing that font, uh, like doing the graffiti on this page. 
Oh, you see that yellow cardstock? That's Studio Calico here and there. Or whatever that's called. Studio Calico here and something. And do you see the stamps behind there? Second generation stamping is when you stamp your stamp all up, get it all stamped up with ink, and stamp it. And then you use the next, you don't ink it up again, you just take it and put it on your layout or your card because it gives you a much lighter effect. And that's what I did. I figured the car kind of looked like going to Grandma's house, and the house is supposed to represent my home. It's funny because the boys will always say, this is my house, not Paw Paw's house. He gets a little upset with that, but he needs to get over it. Look at him having just such a great time. Logan is just laughing. And there's my scrapbook cart pulled out there. I love to write and use markers and so forth. And I'm loving that stamp set with the question marks. And you can see on the TV, there's cartoons. We actually fight over what we're going to watch. I like Phineas and Ferb, but I don't like some of these cartoons they want to watch. And they're starting to get into those shows on Disney like iCarly. And you'll see down there at the bottom, see, I even matted my pattern paper on black cardstock. And can you see the the chair and table? There you go. Another couple of layouts for the Christmas album. Okay, guys, hope you're all doing well. I hopefully am going to be working on another layout today because I got a little free time. So let me get this uploaded. I do have a couple of haul videos I need to do. And hopefully I'll be back soon. Talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.